Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 2nd of 2022. Well, it is titled quadruple lunar halo over winter road. So what do we see here? Well, the bright object we see is our moon. And that is the brightest object in the nighttime sky and brightest object in the sky after the sun. And what we're looking at here are the halos around the moon. Now these are caused by ice crystals. And there's actually a couple of halos here, four in all, but really two prominent ones that we can see. One is the 22 degree halo, which is the inner one very bright there. And that is caused by ice crystals that are in the shape of a hexagon. And that will then bend the moonlight coming through Earth's atmosphere and, gi and, and give us that halo. So in a way, it's a similar process through which a, a rainbow is formed through raindrops and light being bent and refracted reflected off of them. And we can get a similar thing here with ice crystals. Now we can also see there's another one around this which causes it to be a little bit elongated, which is one of the other halos that we see uh, right around the 22 degree uh, halo. And that just kind of stretches it out a little bit. It's a little bit harder to pick out. We also see further out and you can see it prominently down towards the bottom just above the road there, you can see what is a 46 degree halo, so almost twice as far away from the moon. And this is also very rare, uh, because you don't often see this that is also caused by ice crystals within Earth's atmosphere. So without the atmosphere, we would not see any of the halos at all. We would just see the moon shining there. The halos themselves are atmospheric effects. Now we see these with the sun. And in fact, we saw a video clip of the sun not that long ago here. And that was showed the halos and arcs around it very prominently. Uh, with the moon, you don't see them quite as well. And you need better conditions because the moon is not near as bright as the sun. So you need better conditions to be able to see those halos around our moon. Now, of course, we can see some other objects in the sky as well. And in fact, the constellation of Orion is there just above the largest tree to the right of center. We can see the constellation of Orion with the three stars in the belt, the Orion Nebula hanging down on the sword there, and the bright stars Betelgeuse right in the 22 degree halo, and the bright star Rigel down towards the bottom there, uh, not quite to the 46 degree halo. So we can see those to the left of that we can see Sirius the brightest star in the sky other than our own sun. So we get to see again a few of those here as well. And along with the prominent halos that are visible in the image for today in this image taken uh, nearly a decade ago. So that was our picture of the day for January 2nd of 2022. It was titled quadruple lunar halo over winter road. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Saturn moonscape. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.